Hi. You're at station five and or six. Both of those stations are about ions, so we're going to do a little bit of recap of what that is and what that means before you start. First of all, this slide says atoms are neutral, and they are neutral when they have the same number of protons as they do electrons. The positive protons cancel out the negative electrons. For example, carbon, six protons, six electrons cancel out neutral charge. Same thing with all of the elements on the periodic table. Here's an example of sodium and chlorine. These are showing their electron structures. The first shell holds two, the next one eight, and the next one eight for our purposes. The valence electrons are the only ones that matter for bonding and reactivity with other elements, so we are going to use the Lewis dot structure that shows just the valence electrons. Sodium has one valence electron in its outer shell right here, so we put one dot. Chlorine has seven, so we put seven dots. This shows the dot structures of a whole bunch of different elements. All the ones in group one have one valence electron, in group two, two valence electrons, etc., all the way across. All elements are trying to get the electron structure, at least the electron dot structure, the valence shell of the noble gases. The noble gases are stable and unreactive because they have full valence shells. Whichever one is their outer shell, it's full. We usually call this the octet rule. Here it is, you can see eight valence electrons in neon and the rest of the noble gases below. Helium is the exception to that rule. Its only shell is its very first shell, the one that holds two, so it does have a full valence shell even though it only has two electrons. All of the other elements on this table are going to try to become like the noble gases, and that means either gaining or losing electrons to fill their shells. All of these ones have seven, so they want to get one more they're going to gain an electron to become like the noble gas that's next to them. Oxygen will need to gain two, etc. If we look at the other end of the table, over here at our metals, sodium, calcium, sorry, not calcium, potassium, there's calcium. These are going to need to lose their electrons to get to be like the noble gases. When sodium, whoops, loses this one right here, it becomes like this. It has the eight valence electrons of neon. They're all going to try to do that. Some have to gain and some have to lose. Here's the key to charges. Ions start as neutral, but then they lose electrons. They become positively charged. We call them cations. And anions are the opposite. Negatively charged because they gained electrons. This station is about anions. Remember, anions are negatively charged because they gain electrons. They're negative, like onions. The example we're going to use here is fluorine. Fluorine is element number nine, so it has our nine protons, and it has nine electrons. Two in the first shell, seven in our next shell. It is in group seven. When you take the nine pluses and the nine minuses, add them up, no charge, fluorine atom. When it loses or gains electrons to become stable, it is now called the fluoride ion. It has an empty spot right here where it needs another electron to get a full shell, so when that one electron comes in here, we now have an extra negative. Nine protons, 10 electrons gives you a minus one charge. So this atom now is an ion with a minus one charge. You can use that same idea to work with the anions at this station. Good luck.